Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio for another Albert Market painting session. In this episode, I'm going to start painting the meat and dairy stall using cold color on the tarpaulin, contrast with the predominant colors of the meat. I'll begin by painting the stall itself to set the pace. I quickly cleaned the model and soon realized that some areas are hard to reach. It will be very challenging to properly paint some sections. I prime the model in black and apply a light gray zenital. I'm gonna show you all the paint colors that I'll be using. Feel free to write a comment if you have any questions while watching. I always appreciate your feedback and your messages are a great source of motivation. I'm gonna start by painting the wooden structure because I risk staining the tarps when I'll dry brush. If I start by painting the tarps, there's also a risk that the paint will come off, since I have to hold the model from above to paint the bottom. Wood is relatively easy to paint. All we need is a brown base coat, a dark shade to bring out the details, and some dry brushing to highlight the wood fiber. It's always nice to experiment with different tones to give a more colorful and attractive appearance to the model. Obviously, since the ambient light hits them directly, the top of the display and the top of the beams will be of a lighter tone than the underside of the stall.
As for the tarps, I first thought of the traditional red and white color that we usually see on butcher shop advertising signs, but I finally saddle on a color that will contrast with the color of the meat once all the elements are painted. Turquoise blue will bring another dimension to the hole by giving the stall a festive look. This color will also complement the green I used to paint the hail stall. All these colors will bring life to the market once all the stalls are painted and placed together on the town square. To make the textile more interesting to the eye, it could be lightly textured before being stained. This part of the model is perfect for using weathering effects. For all your hobby needs, check out Fenris Workshop. Link and more details in the description. If you found this video helpful, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. Your support is a great source of motivation. If you also bought the Albert Market models, let me know which stall would you like me to paint when I'm done painting the meat and dairy stall. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment if you wish to share your approach to painting them. In the next episode of this series, I'll be painting the Mad Butcher. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, keep on painting and take care.